friends today we are going to study the most important concept of algebra that's identities a plus b the bracket square and a minus b the bracket square now all of you are aware square means you multiply by the same thing twice so when we multiply a plus b into a plus b you take a out multiply this a with the whole a plus b then you take b out multiply this b with the whole a plus b a into a is a square a into b is a b b into a is same as b a as well as a b and b into b is b square so a b plus a b is 2 a b so we get the most important identity a square plus 2 a b plus b square now these two steps were for your understanding now you are supposed to just remember this last thing so in short a plus b the bracket square is a square plus 2 a b plus b square let's take one sum now 2x plus 3y the bracket square here 2x is a 3y is b you are supposed to put brackets here 2x the bracket square plus 2 a b means 2 into a into b so that's 2 into 2x into 3y plus 3y the bracket square 2 square is 4 x square is x square itself 2 2 into 3 is 12 x into y is 12 x y 3 square is 9 and y square is 9 y square. Let's go to the next identity a minus b the bracket square. Same a minus b into a minus b. We take a multiply a by a minus b and minus b by again a minus b. a into a is a square. a into minus b is minus a b. Then minus b into a is minus b and minus a b same. So minus a b minus into minus is plus b into b is b square. So you again have to just remember this identity a minus b the bracket square is a square minus 2ab plus b square. Let's take a sum now 5a minus 6b the bracket square. This is the first term. This is the second term. So 5a the bracket square minus 2ab plus b square. 5 square is 25. a square is a square. 2 into 5 into 6 2 5s are 10, 10, 6 are 60, minus sign, a into b is ab, 6 square is 36 and b square is b square. So this is how you get the uh, a minus b the bracket square, a plus b into a minus b. When you say expand, you are supposed to multiply this with this. So a gets multiplied with the whole bracket, plus b gets multiplied with the whole bracket, a into a is a square, a into minus b is minus ab plus b into a is same as a b plus into minus is minus b into b is b square now since this is minus a b and this is plus a b they cancel each other so you get a square minus b square this is the identity now let's take one example 2x plus 3y into 2x minus 3y this is your a term this is your b term the difference between these two is only the sign the, here you have plus and this is minus so you get a square minus b square 2 square is 4, x square is x square itself, minus 3 square is 9, y square is y square. Now when you write it the other way around, this gives you this which is expand and a square minus b square gives you a plus b, a minus b which is factorized. See, a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b which is factorized. Let's do it that way. 9a square minus 16b square can be written as 9a square can be written as 3a the bracket square minus sign as it is 16b square can be written as 4b the bracket square because 4 square is 16 b square is b square now this is a term this is b term so a square minus b square is a plus b a minus b so we get 3a plus 4b into 3a minus 4b is that clear thank you x plus a into x plus b Basically, this is a single identity. Now, the same identity can be written in other three forms by using different signs. Here we have plus a plus b, then we have plus a minus b, then you have minus a minus b, then you have minus a plus b. Now, in some books, these formulae are given and the students are expected to learn them, each one in a different way. Now, instead of learning all four formulae, it's better understand one formula and then you get the other one. Let's start with x plus a into x plus b. 
x multiplied by x plus b. So x into x is x square, x into b is bx, a into x is ax, a into b is ab. Now we can take x common, since x is taken common, whether you write b plus a or a plus b is one and the same. So x square plus a plus b into x plus ab. In short, if there is plus a here, plus b, we write a plus b into x. Next is x plus a into x minus b. We can write this formula in this form. x square plus plus a plus into minus b. This plus sign is this one. So plus into minus b into x plus a into minus b. a into minus b. x square plus a plus into minus is minus b x as it is plus into minus is minus so we get minus ab so if it's plus a minus b we get the formula directly x square a minus b into x and plus into minus is minus ab third one if both of them are negative x into x is x square now this can be written as minus a as it is plus minus b into x plus minus a into minus b so x square minus a plus into minus is minus b into x minus into minus is plus ab now this is minus a here and minus b if i take minus sign out throughout so plus into minus gives me minus so i have it as x square minus a plus b into x plus ab the last one is x minus a x plus b one is minus the other is plus so x square plus minus a as it is plus b into x plus minus a into b so x square this minus a plus b can also be written as b minus a into x and minus into plus is minus ab understood so how to do directly now without using these two steps let's see x into x gives me x square plus a plus b into x and plus a into plus b is plus ab x into x is x square plus a minus b into x and plus a into minus b is minus ab x into x is x square minus a minus b which can be written as minus sign out a plus b into x and minus a into minus b is plus ab x into x is x square minus a plus b which can also be written as b minus a so b minus a into x and minus a into plus b is minus ab thank you a plus b plus c the bracket square now we have already studied a plus b the bracket square there were two terms here we have three terms now squares of square of anything is always positive so we write a square plus b square plus c square then you have 2 into ab plus 2 into bc plus 2 into ac so 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ac this 2 can be taken out so we get 2ab plus bc plus ac so this is a basic formula now again in some books they give you these different formulae you don't need to learn all of them if you just know one now we'll see how do we get them a square plus b square plus c square as i said all the terms have to be positive plus 2 now a into b plus b into minus c plus a into minus c so a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 ab plus into minus is minus bc plus into minus is minus ac next a minus b plus c a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 a into minus b minus b into c and a into c so you get a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 minus ab minus bc and plus ac now we take minus sign here a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 a into minus b minus b into minus c and a into minus c so we get a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 minus a b minus into minus is plus so plus b c plus into minus is minus ac most important identity a plus b the bracket cube and a minus b the bracket cube the difference is only between the sign here we have plus here we have minus now let's see the direct formula first and then i'll explain you the details of it you have a cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square plus b cube now you will have the signs are throughout plus fine here it's a minus b the bracket cube again you will find that the terms are same throughout you will find the terms which are here 
the same terms you have here. The only thing is you have plus 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 throughout. Here you have alternate plus minus. So plus minus plus minus. Now let's see how do we go in details. Cube of anything we write it thrice. A plus B as it is. Now you know A plus B into A plus B. That is A plus B. The bracket square is A square plus 2AB plus B square. Now you multiply A with the each term. So A into A square we get A cube. Then A into 2AB gives me 2AB square. A square B. A into B square gives me A B square. B into A square gives me A square B. B into 2AB gives me 2AB square. And B into B square gives me B cube. Now we take like terms together. A cube as it is. 2A square B and A square B gives me 3A square B. AB square plus 2AB square gives me 3AB square and B cube as it is. Now I can take 3AB common here along with the plus sign. So A cube plus B cube and plus 3AB. What do I get? A plus B inside. Let's see the next one now. A minus B into A minus B into A minus B. The first A minus B as it is. You know A minus B into A minus B is A minus B the bracket square. That's A square minus 2AB plus B square. Multiplying A with the whole thing. Then minus B with the whole thing. So what do we get is A into A square is A cube. Minus 2A square B. A into plus B square is AB square. Minus B into A square is minus A square B. Minus into minus is plus 2AB square. Minus into plus is minus. So I get this as minus B cube. Now again I take all the like terms together. A cube comes as it is. Minus 2A square B minus A square B. As you know if the signs are same you add it. This is 2 and this is 1. 2 plus 1 is 3 and we we'll give the common sign. Plus AB square plus 2AB square is plus 3AB square and minus B cube as it is. Now we can take A cube and minus B cube separate and there is minus 3AB common here. So you get minus 3AB A minus B. Hello friends, we'll see the next important identity. A cube plus B cube gives you A plus B, A square minus AB plus B square. Mind well, it's A square minus AB. Some students write it as minus 2AB. Similarly, we have A cube minus B cube as A minus B, A square plus AB plus B square. Now in this case, all the terms are same. It's only the difference between the signs. Since we have plus here, I have plus and I have opposite sign which is minus here. Since there is minus sign here, I have minus and opposite of this is plus here. Baki A square and B square, A square, B square terms are same. Now let's see the sum. If it is 27x cube plus 64y cube, 27x cube is 3x the bracket cube, 64y cube is 4y the bracket cube. So this is my A term, this is my B term. So A cube plus B cube is A plus B, A square. Put a bracket here, a square minus a into b plus b square. So 3x plus 4y as it is, 3x the bracket square, 3 square is 9, x square is x square itself. 3 4s are 12, minus 12 xy plus 4 square is 16 y square. Next, a cube minus b cube is a minus b, a square plus ab plus b square. So let's take one sum, 1000 minus 1331 y cube is equal to you should know the cubes perfectly at least from 1 to 10. So 1000 is 10 cube minus 1331 is 11 cube. So minus 11 y the bracket cube. This is a cube minus b cube which is a minus b a square plus ab plus b square. So a minus b as it is 10 square is 100. 10 into 11 is 110 y plus 11 square is 121 y square. Fine. Now, when you do it this way, this is factorized, and when you do it this way, it is expand. Like if it is given a plus b into this, you'll get this part as expansion. If it is given a minus b into this, you get this part as expansion. Is that clear? Thank you.